If you are interested in running Chrome OS on your Windows PC without losing your current setup, you have come to the right place. Today, I'll show you how to install and dual boot Fide OS alongside Windows on your PC. Fide OS is a lightweight operating system based on Chromium OS. It's designed to give you a Chrome OS experience with support for Android apps, Google Play Store, and Linux integration. It is essentially a version of Chrome OS that's been enhanced to run on regular PCs. Fide OS is perfect for turning your old PC or laptop into a Chromebook-like device. So let's jump into the installation. First of all, for dual boot setup, you need to create a new partition on your hard drive. Open Disk Management. Right click on your main drive and select Shrink Volume. Create at least 20 GB partition for Fide OS. Next, head over to the Fide OS official website and download the latest ISO file for your PC. You must select the appropriate Fide OS version for your PC's hardware. The first option is for older PCs with Intel processors from roughly 2011 to 2017. If your PC has a newer Intel processor, select the second option. And if your PC has AMD Radeon graphics with either Intel or AMD processor, go for the third option. In my case, I have an 8th gen Intel Core processor, so I'll download the second option. While the ISO file downloads, get the Rufus tool ready to create a bootable USB drive. Once the download finishes, extract the contents of the compressed file. Now plug in your USB drive and launch Rufus. In Rufus, select your USB drive, choose the Fide OS ISO file you downloaded, and click Start. This will format the USB drive and make it bootable. When Rufus completes the process, your USB drive is ready for Fide OS installation. Now, restart your PC and access the boot menu screen. From the boot options, select your USB drive and press enter. Your PC will now boot from the Fide OS USB drive and you will see the Fide OS installation screen. From the Fide OS installation menu, choose Install Fide OS. To completely replace your existing operating system with Fide OS, go with Full Disk Installation. To keep Windows and install Fide OS alongside it, select Multi Boot Installation. Next, pick where you want to install Fide OS. Choose the newly created partition for this. Also, select the EFI partition. Opt to install and configure Refine to enable dual booting. Finally, click Install to begin the process. Now wait for the installation to finish. Once it's done, shut down your computer. Remove the USB drive and power your computer back on. You will be greeted by the refined boot menu, giving you the choice between Windows and Fide OS. Select Fide OS to boot into it. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the initial Fide OS setup. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Fide OS on your PC. Fide OS is built on the open source Chromium OS project, offering a user experience similar to Chrome OS. If you have used Chrome OS before, you will find Fide OS instantly familiar. 
Fide OS offers a sleek minimalistic design with a taskbar at the bottom, an app launcher and easy access to settings and notifications. The interface is smooth and responsive. The apps load quickly without any noticeable lag. Fide OS shines with its native support for Android apps. Simply enable the Android subsystem from the settings to get started. Once enabled, you can directly install APK files. Keep in mind that you will also need to activate developer mode before installing APKs. Remember to restart your PC after enabling developer mode. You can now proceed to install your APK files. FideOS also has a built-in app store called FideOS Store, offering access to an extensive collection of both web apps and Android apps. Use it to discover, download, and manage your preferred apps directly on your FideOS device. Guys, keep in mind that the Google Play Store is not available on FideOS by default. However, you can install it using OpenG apps. In the FideOS App Store, click on Configure OpenG apps. Click Add. Then it will download and install the necessary Google services. After installation, reboot your PC for the OpenG apps to work correctly. After restarting, you should spot the Play Store icon in the app launcher. However, you will likely encounter an error saying this device is not Play Protect certified. To fix this error, you need to register your device with Google. To do so, download the device ID APK from the internet and install it. Open the app and copy your Google service framework ID. Then, go to the Google device registration page at google.com slash android slash uncertified. Enter the GSF ID that you copied and click register. Once your device is successfully registered, restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now, when you open the Play Store again, the error message should be gone and you should be able to sign in with your Google account. And there you have it. You now have the entire world of Android apps at your fingertips. Browse and install your favorite games, productivity tools, social media apps and more. The compatibility is impressive and you shouldn't experience any major issues with app performance or stability. For developers and advanced users, FideOS also includes support for Linux applications. From the settings, you can enable the Linux environment and run your favorite Linux apps right alongside your Android apps. Alright folks, if you are searching for a solid alternative to Chrome OS, Fide OS is definitely a strong contender. I personally believe FideOS has the potential to be the Chrome OS competitor we have all been anticipating. What do you think about FideOS? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.